Well, hello there, this is cool dude Clem putting his ugly face into the camera once again. Just to give you a little bit of an update on uh, you know, things I'm doing. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done any cool dude Clem's electronic workshop live streams, but the thing is, my webcam has just completely stopped working, and it's, this is the only camera that I can connect up to my computer and get a live, you know, get live video feed from it, and yeah. It just finally gave up, so that's why I haven't done any live streams and there's no way I can connect any of my other cameras to my computer because, well, they don't have USB live streaming, like the webcam does. But, I've got a little idea. I'm gonna use this camera for my live streams. Now at the moment I've got no way to connect it up to my computer because the only output it has is composite video. So, I've ordered one of those USB capture devices um, it's gonna take a little while to get here though. I know this camera's only 4x3, that's not really gonna be much of a problem because, you know, I can put the camera, I can put the image from this camera in, say, the left side, and, say, have the live comments on the right side. So I think this might be a pretty good webcam, I mean, it's got a pretty good picture quality, pretty decent picture quality, or at least it would do if it was focused. Let me just adjust that and try and get that in focus here, there we go. I mean, it's not high def, but, you know, it's good enough for the, um, it's going to be good enough for the live streams. Just got it powered off my homemade bench supply at the moment. And, doing its stuff, I can see a little red reflection in the scope. I might also come up with some kind of three camera solution involving this camera and maybe this one or the one I'm holding at the moment and my webcam if I can get this to work of course so we can have multiple camera angles when I do my Cool Dude Clems electronic workshop videos and let's just have a look at what I've got here well Still got that amplifier project pretty much all built up. There might be a few wires missing that I need to reconnect. I haven't really done anything to that because, you know, I wanted to try to fix those oscillation problems in the next Electronics Workshop live stream. But of course, with my webcam dying on me, that hasn't really been an option, so I've just had to leave it and wait. Also got another couple of ideas. I want to do a little experiment where I connect this ceramic cartridge from this old BSR deck up to a valve based impedance, impedance matching circuit which somewhere on my wall I've got the schematic of. Now some people say oh, you should put a resistor here it doesn't matter. Tried that with and without the resistor it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. Absolutely no difference to the performance the sound quality or anything like that. So, I reckon there must be a little bit of resistance built into the cartridge itself. Also going to try the same kind of circuit, but we're using, using JFETs. Well, not the same circuit, but a circuit that does the same thing, using JFETs. So, that's going to be interesting. Oh, and it looks like the video is rendered. I finished. I'm, I'm happy to say that I finished working on the animation for the Star Kids Episode 3. I've just got to put it all together now. I've got one of the bit. I've got one of the scenes all assembled in Adobe Premiere now. So I've just got to get all those other scenes that I've done, edit them all together, and put it all together with music and sound effects and everything. And you know that should be ready. God only knows when. So this is pretty much what a cool dude Clem's video project looks like. And this is the source files for just one episode of the Star Kids and it just goes on and on and on or at least it would do if the stupid mouse would scroll so you can see there's a lot of files here and a lot of editing that I'm gonna have to do I might actually do a full video on how I make these so if you want me to do that I shall just leave it in the comments also, I'm going to get a touchscreen monitor. I haven't decided which one yet, but I've been playing the stocks, and I've got about 
between 500 and 600 to blow now, so you know, I should be able to get a good touchscreen monitor for about half of that. And that's going to really help because, you know, you haven't used a keyboard and a mouse, that's kind of slow, you know, I've got to do all that and I've got to move this around. No, I'm not a left-handed person. I know the mouse is on the left side, but the thing is, I have used my right hand so much to use the mouse that it actually physically hurts my right hand now to use a mouse with that and my left hand as well because I've had to switch over to using my left hand to the mouse and that started hurting as well just so that's why this piece of wood is here so, that's so I can sort of use it like a lever and move the mouse around I've also had to turn the sensitivity right down but that's made it, you know, less painful to use. But, you know, with a touchscreen monitor, I won't have to worry about any of that. You know, I can just go, duh, 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 duh. But anyway, that's just about it. I've got to go and get this edited now. So, until next time, goodbye. Okay, Sonic, I'm ready. You'll never be able to find me. Uh... Yeah, I think we can still see you, Tails. And now little Tails is playing Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Oh, what's the matter, Tails? Are you lonely? You need someone to talk to? You okay? You think I'm mad, don't you?